Thank you. Um, over the past two days, we have talked about a lot of policy-focused topics. We've talked about economic policy. We started out with uh, social policy. Talked a lot about security policy yesterday. The one thing we haven't talked about that is certainly relevant for the uh, end of the West, or the question of the end of the West as we know it, are moral questions and normative questions. And so we are incredibly honored to have the best possible speaker on this very topic with us today. Um, and we're especially grateful to him for making this possible on such short notice. Um, Professor Michael Ignatieff, it is an honor to have you with us. Professor Ignatieff is the kind of public intellectual come politician that is incredibly rare today. Um, any introduction, however extensive, would do him injustice for leaving too many things out, so I hope he will forgive me if I just touch very briefly on the most important of his accomplishments. He is a, is a historian by training. Um, he had a, a long and successful career in academics um, and in journalism. He produced many award-winning films um, and documentaries. He is also a prolific author of works of both fiction and nonfiction. He has been shortlisted for the, uh, the Booker Prize, uh, which is no mean achievement for a full-time author, uh, which um, he is not because he has so much more that he has done. He has won several awards, um, including from a German perspective, this is uh, perhaps interesting, the Hannah Arendt Award for Political Writing, which is um, bestowed by the city of Bremen. And in 2006, he went into uh, Canadian politics, um, and he was elected as a member of parliament and uh, became the, uh, the leader of the Liberal Party, um, uh, a function in which he served from 2008 to 2011. Under normal circumstances, and if, if that were all that were to it, we would be extremely honored to have him with us today. But the most important thing is that he is also the leading authority on the topic that he will speak about today, and that is humanitarian interventions and the responsibility to protect. He has written several books on the topic, and he has um, also served as one of the co-authors of the Canadian-sponsored report, The Responsibility to Protect, which um, sort of ushered in the notion that the international community had a responsibility to protect civilians if their governments were unable or unwilling to do so. Um, this report eventually led to the adoption by the United Nations of this notion of responsibility to protect. So we are very proud to have him back at Harvard as a professor uh, this year. He is also a professor at the University of Toronto, but we hope to see much more of him and to have him with us for much longer. And we are, as I said, immensely grateful that he made this possible on such short notice. So please jo join me in welcoming Professor Michael Ignatieff.